Now, back to our story about Swami Chinmayananda. A few episodes ago, we saw Swami Chinmayananda walked the 11 miles through difficult terrain to meet Swami Tapovan. He finally reached the hut. Seeing Swami Tapovanam, he prostrated respectfully. He introduced himself. He then expressed his desire to become his student and that Swami Shivananda had sent him here. This momentous meeting took place in Swami Tapovan's kutia in Rishikesh. It was his custom to live there a few months each year and with the onset of the monsoons he would soon leave for the higher elevations of Uttarkashi. After hearing Swami Chinmayananda's request to learn under him, Swami Tapovan replied, "I can teach, but it is you who must understand. I will be returning to Uttarkashi before the monsoons begin in mid-June. You can follow then and begin classes," he said. As instructed, in June 1949, Swamiji packed and set out by foot for the long trek to Uttarkashi. He wound his way up in the mountains, following the route of the Ganga, entering a higher mood, resting at times deep in contemplation, thanks to the grand panorama of nature all around him. And thus, Swami Chinmayananda traveled those hundred some miles when he reached the tiny village he was quite surprised at the spartan and simple surroundings he was used to anandakutir and all its facilities which reflected swami shivananda's enthusiastic and dynamic energy in contrast swami tapovanam manifested a much subtler vibration tapovan kutir was a simple one room hut where swami tapovanam lived only a few months of the year and despite all this the experience of god realization of these two masters was identical in spite of all external appearances there he found that swami tapovanam was not one to provide any room or board for his students The sage left such details in the capable hands of the Lord. For did not the Lord himself send such students? Accommodation was found for him with the kind aid of Swami Govindagiri, a student of Swami Tapovanam, at a place just down the path from Tapovan Kutir. A local villager, Jagdish, who often served Swami Tapovanam by cleaning and delivering milk reports what happened that day the greatest and most glorious event of my 30 years of service to swami tapovan maharaj happened with the arrival of a sweet boy full of ardor every part of him throbbing to learn vedanta under the master looking at the frail and tall swami chinmayananda i wondered whether he could stand all the weight of knowledge that his master was going to unload on him years later swami chinmayananda himself would reminisce about his guru he wrote it must be said that since he was a very strict disciplinarian only rarely could his students remain long enough to complete their studies with him I myself belong to that last group that Swami ji taught and even during my years of study and practice I can count only a handful of students all came with divine enthusiasm but alas none could keep it up for more than a year the severity of the climate the unavailability of any living convenience the lack of nutritive not to mention tasty food the chilly bath twice a day in the ganga the hard study 
and the unrelenting discipline all contributed their share of discomforts and together they became a suffocating tyranny for those who could not get any glimpse of the yonder however had they spent at least a part of their time in reflection and meditation instead of merely reading they could have discovered the endless source of joy that would have made it worthwhile to endure the discomforts of uttarkashi this failure was certainly their own doing chinmaya as swami chinmayananda was called by his guru and other disciples was anxious to begin a vedantic text with enthusiasm and respect he asked his guru when would classes begin but there was no hurrying swami tapovan we will start next month after we go up to gangotri he responded you contemplate on what you've already studied get those ideas clear before you add on more he said in addition to the intellectual learning swami tapovanam knew that there must be some daily chores to release some of the natural energy of this young student and to maintain his physical vigor on a sunny day he requested chinmaya make a garden for us here in front of the hut some fresh vegetables would be appreciated by all of us he said but swami ji there is no water supply on this hill replied his disciple what the mighty ganga is roaring down at the bottom of the hill and here is a bucket you can bring up plenty of water for the garden chinmaya yes of course swami ji said chinmaya from then on he would climb the 100 foot steep path to tapovan kutir from the banks of the ganga carrying buckets of water for the vegetable garden when the hot summer started in uttarkashi as was his custom swami tapovan would travel by foot to the higher altitudes of the himalayas to gangotri Swami Chinmayananda accompanied him the classes would soon begin हरिओम नमस्कार वी आर श्योर यू लाइक द वीडियो फॉर मोर सच अमेजिंग वीडियोज सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड डो नॉट फर्गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन